All right. Well, Hispanic Heritage Month starts officially tomorrow, but all year long, the doors are open to Casa de Rosado Galleria and Cultural Center. And here to tell us all about it is Teresa, the founder. Welcome into Studio 10. Thank you, Rochelle. Yes, I'm uh, Teresa Rosado, and I am the founder and director of Casa de Rosado Galleria and Cultural Center. And so tell us a little bit about the role that you guys play in our community. We host cultural events mm -hmm. all year long. We close between exhibits, but we sponsor both visual and performance mm -hmm. arts. We are not associated with Christa Ray. We are a 501c3 that is strictly an art focus. That's awesome. Now, speaking of the art, right now you guys have sugar, a sugar skull workshop. You've got a lot of art here with us, but tell me <laughs> a little bit about the sugar skulls, how you create them, and how you're working with local high school students about this as well. Well, this is our busiest time of the year. Mm -hmm. We are we will be making over 800 sh sugar skulls this wow. year. Uh, we have a grant from the city of Lansing, a neighborhood mm -hmm. grant that allows us to make these skulls, wow. and we visit schools throughout the Lansing School District. In wow. fact, we have um, on our website, mm -hmm. actually our Facebook page, you can sign up teachers a link to register your classroom. Uh, Post Oak is already booked an entire week at their class <laughs> or oh their goodness. school. So, so you guys um, do a lot with the community. Now tell me yeah. about these sugar schools. You actually created them yourself. Yes. So why don't we pick one up just so we can kind of see that. Show me a little bit about how you create these and what this has to do with Dia de los Muertos, which is coming up. Yes, these are hand molded by volunteers. In fact, we put out a call for volunteers, but it, we wow. use sugar and many, many pounds of sugar. So mm -hmm. we buy the 25 pound bags as well as this um, meringue powder that's behind yeah, here. Right over here, I see that. So that's, <laughs> that's how you create the, it. That's the binder that we mm -hmm. use. And it just takes a little bit of meringue powder, a little bit of water, it's a lot like beach sand. You press it into the molds until they're nice and firm and mm -hmm. then we flip them over. They take about two or three days to dry. Okay. Uh, we do have, this is a traditional one made in Mexico and wow. this is used, um, has royal frosting on it to decorate. Mm -hmm. It's very old and that's why it's yellowed. But it's traditional to have the foil on here. Usually there's a little name on here, and that's made yeah. in memory of a, of a loved one that has passed. Wow. So um, this is, a, the, as you see the bottom on the larger ones, they're mm -hmm. hollowed out, and that helps it dry quicker. We have a larger one that we did at our gallery that took about two weeks to dry, oh and that's goodness. because we didn't hollow it out. So there's a reason for that. But it's the kids, uh, they can make them for fun at the Lansing schools, mm -hmm. or uh, if they want to make them in memory of a loved one that's passed, you say a grandmother or grandfather yeah. that passed, this is a beautiful way of remembering them. Yeah. And, and traditionally in uh, Mexico, the, mm -hmm. uh, the Aztecs used to use this plant right here. Oh my goodness. This is called amaranth. And um, they noticed little effigies, skull effigies, were made out of the grains. These are very tiny, almost like millet. They were molded with honey. And, and here's also a sample here, this big oh tall thing goodness. behind the painting here is, <laughs> we actually have this growing on our grounds. So if you see a bunch of weeds growing in our front yard, they're not weeds, it's amaranth. And how amazing. A, a, so you guys have a lot going on. Like you said, right now is the busiest time of the year. Yes. But like you said, you're always looking for volunteers. So tell us about the next event that you have coming up that we should start marking our calendars for. <laughs> Well, th we open for Hispanic Heritage mm -hmm. Month this Sunday, September 17th from 1 to 5 p.m. We will share these calaveras. These are these beautiful sugar skull mm -hmm. faces painted on canvas. And a man called Posada in Me Mexico that made these broadsheets is the one that popularizes imagery. So not only do we have the paintings, but this skeleton imagery is on everything. It's oh a lot goodness. of fun and playful. It's very distinguishable from Halloween. Halloween can be kind of scary. Of course. But Dia de los Muertos is always, you always see happy skeletons dancing and having a good time and, and living their best life. <laughs> and that's made in memory of, of our loved ones. That's wonderful. Now, of course, there's so much art and so much culture. Of course, we only have so much time, <laughs> yes. but we're gonna give you information on our Facebook later today as to how you can celebrate with you and how they can volunteer with you. So yes. why don't we start sugar decorating? And in the meantime, we'll be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month well into the weekend. And if you can't see Studio 10 on the weekends, that's okay. We have some other shows that you can watch. So coming up next,